Does your pregnant patient have a full term appearance, but it's really not time for delivery? There could be more to it than meets the eye. We're talking about preeclampsia, which is classified after 20 weeks gestation. Before we get too far, I have to admit that preeclampsia was a condition that confused me a lot in nursing school. So that you're not confused, make sure to click the link in the description below or visit nursing.com slash NFN to download the free ebook, NCLEX Flash Notes. It's even a great resource if you're not prepping for the NCLEX. Now that you know where to find what you need, let's go over the objective data that must be present in order to classify preeclampsia. So it would be new onset hypertension, and it's a blood pressure of greater than or equal to 140 over 90 for two occurrences taken four hours apart by the provider. It's also measured by a systolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 160 millimeters of mercury or a diastolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 90 millimeters of mercury. That means that a blood pressure of 140 over 90 and a blood pressure of 160 over 80 are both classified as preeclamptic hypertension. There has to be protein in the urine. It's called proteinuria. That's the big differentiator between gestational hypertension and preeclampsia. That will be evaluated via urinalysis and it's an indication that there's some organ damage happening. Upon physical assessment, the pregnant patient may have a sudden increase in edema, particularly in the hands and in the face. And that, of course, is also going to result in a sudden weight gain due to all that fluid shifting. The patient may also complain of a headache, epigastric, or right upper quadrant pain. And in severe cases, they may even have vision changes. If preeclampsia is left untreated, it can develop into eclampsia, which becomes a medical emergency because the pregnant patient will have seizures. Therefore, treatment includes seizure prevention, antihypertensive measures, and or immediate delivery of the fetus. So, treatment options are all centered around preventing preeclampsia from developing into eclampsia, and that hallmark shift is when the pregnant patient begins seizing. Magnesium sulfate is the medication that is given to prevent seizures, and seizure precautions should be implemented to prevent injury to the patient and the fetus. Now, what about that proteinuria piece? The urine should be monitored for presence of protein and is sometimes even evaluated from a 24 hour collection. But in the end, the only cure for preeclampsia is delivery of the fetus, and even then, the pregnant patient may still need treatment. Some of these topics can really feel like doozies to learn, but if you need more help breaking down complex topics, head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers the 77 must-know nursing topics. What I really want you to remember is that we love you guys. Now go out and be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.